I want to have gas. Oh my god, so desperately I want to have gas. It's going to be my next call-in, I can tell. It's going to be the next thing that I dedicate myself to after I do the Talwar tonight, which I'm going to do right now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, dude. I'm going to get out there. I'm going to hit up the gas veins or the gas planets or the gas droids. And I'm going to huff them so hard, dude. You guys? You're not even going to know what you're watching anymore. It's going to be grotesque. Yeah. Brace. <laughs> oh, brace yourselves. <sighs> yeah. I won this from Chaos. There it is. Chaos 1298. I can see his ca Oh, what a dapper looking gentleman. Oh my god. Is that a dolphin? Hey, guy. Yo. I, I don't want to be rude. All right. But it's, you sound like that first stop in like a gangster movie you go and see murkowski right and then shit goes south real quick and uh yeah unfortunately you end up accidentally killing murkowski but what's amazing about that is that you are the first big obstacle and on top of that you are a name that sticks with the audience because of the way it sounds, because of how it flows. So yeah, Murkowski, that's where our protagonist, that's where they found their teeth. They learned that they could bite back, you know? So hey, hey, stand tall, stand proud. That's a good name. Name one cool thing, this. This is a cool thing, dude. This thing here, this is a Fortizar. It's a player-owned station, and it is possibly one of the coolest things that you'll ever see in EVE Online. Possibly. Just because of the sheer scale of it, the amount of detail that these guys added to it, and then just the idea that this belongs to a player. Or maybe a corporation of players, it doesn't matter. But this right here is their little piece of the sky. It's sick. Look for a copy. No, no, I want to. I want a legit blueprint. Yo, yo, yo! I want a full one. I want to be able to make them as many as I want. Because one day, maybe my daughter wants to play this game, and she wants me to make her some ships. Uh, one day, maybe my wife wants to play that. She won't play this game. It doesn't matter. The point I'm trying to make is that at some point, I might want to make more than just two or three or whatever. And I want to have. I want to. I want to. You know. I want to I wanna be able to say, hey, I am well versed enough in industry that I can make a Talwar at any point. So that's what I'm going to do. That's it. What is this? Hold on. Aaron Keon just bought stuff from Lerm this Lerm. I didn't have nothing. What is that? Is that that's 18 million. Is this you? Hello? Oh my god. What is going on here? That's my pants? What? Oh god. How does that work? How does he buy my pants for 18 million? What the hell is going on here right now? Someone found a reverse robbery loophole. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm trying to make this ship that I'm making right now all by myself. I want to go and find the blueprint by myself. I have a question about that. I want to go and mine all the materials myself. And if there are any other technological extras that need to be added, I want to add them. And then I want to actually go into that industry menu and I want to craft the ship by myself. It's going to be my first big craft. I've made like small shit before, but this is going to be the first big one. And I'm gonna love it. Then I will even go out and I'll see if I can buy a skin for the ship. Ooh, that's gonna be sick. Oh my god. Because I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be all like, whoa, ha, ha, ha. I've got stealth on my ship. I can go anywhere. And then I'm gonna go anywhere I want. And I'm just gonna die. First time I jump into like low or null sex space. And then poof, there goes all my money. 
future me will never financially recover from any of this shit. Good God. <laughs> the amount of stuff that you can get on the alpha account is so generous. There are so many ships you can fly, you can go anywhere, you can basically do anything. And at the end of the day, you could just see it as natural progression, a tiered experience. You get to know the alpha account in its entirety. And then when you feel comfortable, you move up and you jump in to the deep end. It's amazing, dude. The way they've set it up is just perfect. And and what's like the ultimate compliment is that it reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV's trial. It really does. It's not the same, okay? I want to say that it's not the same, but it reminds me of it because of its generosity and because of how well laid out and structured it is. Now offline the stabilizer. Okay. Ah! Too active! Hell yes, man! There we go! Light bulb moment! I can see it moving! Fantastic! Thank you! My god, sometimes you just have to explain it like I'm five. And it will make sense. Holy shit! I don't even know what most of this stuff is! I don't even know what any of this stuff is! Oh my god! Here I am making my first baby ship with like a bunch of titanium. Oof. Let's not think about that right now. Huh? Why do people leave those unlooted? Oh my god, it triggers me. <sighs> Listen. I don't know if this is going to be true in a month's time, in two months time, in six months time. But I will never not loot my kills. I will do it. I will do it just because it is the adventurer's way. You don't leave loot behind. If you have space in the hull, you take the loot. God! Just take the loot. And if you don't take the loot, leave it for someone else. It's amazing. The feeling of popping open someone's cargo hold and just like peeping inside. That's what I live for, man. God, this guy just like leaves it here. He doesn't even care. I can't. I love looting stuff, man. Loot's the best. God damn. I just want all the loot I can get. Listen, I just want to say the wisdom that you imparted, the little chat we had yesterday. It's stuck in there. And I love it. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about blueprints and ships and industry and becoming a tycoon. You know? I'm just thinking about all that stuff. And it's, it's nice. These are happy thoughts. I was actually lying in bed yesterday, supposed to be sleeping. And I was like on my phone, I was googling uh, Talwa. Mm, mm, nice ship. Yes, I like the look of that one. Phew, I'm gonna ram so many guys with that. And then I was like, Talwa blueprint. Mm. But remember what Daddy Deep said. Just remember, there's no profit in that. And I was like, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna do it anyway. <sighs> can't wait, dude. Yes, I'm supposed to be hiding that so people can't gank me. But I'm not. <laughs> That's my secret. I just don't care. Let them come. Let them come. I was busy mining and, and like... <laughs> Swingfish was like, hey, look behind you. And I turned around and there was nothing there. And then <laughs> suddenly there's like a loaf of bread. But it was actually a spaceship. Okay. It just materialized out of thin air. And he's just creeping around. You know, guy doesn't care. He's just creeping around. The cloaking in this game is just the, the most fantastic thing. Like the idea is that in high security space, the popos will be on you if you try and kill someone and what ends up happening is unless you don't care about just like throwing your shit away you will probably die so you have to try and make that like calculation you have to decide like is it worth it for me to kill this person 
is it worth it for me to suicide and destroy this crappy little ship that they have? Because it is a crappy little ship, right? So for most people, it's not worth it killing me. My question was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking about the miracle of life here. Where do blueprints come from? And don't give me that shit about a mommy blueprint and a daddy blueprint. I want the real story. Just give it to me straight. I can take it. What the hell happened to space? Oh my god. Dude, why is it so red and veiny? Where are we? Holy shit. Heck. <laughs> I amuse myself. <laughs> drive active. Uh, <laughs> uh, shit, that's funny. This is interesting how they have like this tiered like city surrounding it. That's really cool, man. Oh my god. And then you zoom in. And you can see what is, I suppose, meant to be all these ships coming and going. And like moving between all the different structures. Man, the attention to detail. This makes me so happy, dude. This just... I, I, I cannot wait to just explore space more. I need to go to the right place. This is the wrong one. We're going over there. It's so nice. At what point do I stop looking at stuff like this? Did they try and burn the Dixie? Doesn't everyone love the Dixie? I swear everyone must love the Dixie, dude. Drive active. For some reason, the Dixie, it just strikes me as like the Dolly Parton of space stations. It's like you can't dislike the Dixie. There's just nothing bad about the Dixie. Holy shit, I didn't even see him there. I did not even see this guy. He's in the same asteroid field and I had no idea he was here. Holy shit. He wasn't even sneaking and I had no clue. I'm oblivious. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I thought I was alone here. If you had to ask me what kind of ship this is, if you had to just like say, hey, off the top of your head, Tell me what you think this thing does. I would have actually said Stealth Bomber. I would have. It's got those Blackbird vibes. You know, the Blackbird. The one airplane that, like, every little boy was obsessed with 25 years ago. That one. I dig it. I mean, it's just badass. That's the word you would use. It's just badass. God. Oh, my God. I don't even want to... Oh, shit, dude. I don't want to look at this. Oh, my God. It's menacing. You know? Oof. No, I can't. I cannot. I think I'm going against the grain with this. But I want less on my screen. I want an immersive experience. I'm going to say something radical right now. But if I could be in first person perspective. And if I could have a full HUD. And then use the scanner in the HUD. I would probably be in that view the whole time. I goddamn love the immersion, dude. And in this game, oh, it would be epic. So yeah, I want as little as possible blocking my view. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Holy shit, that looks expensive. Oh my god. Looks like I just got some mustard on top. Looks like a cursed hot dog. I dig it, dude. I dig it. The confessor. Yeah, I'd like to make a confession right now. It's made me hungry. Huh. How much did I invest in Star Citizen? Wait, do I strike you as the kind of guy that would have fallen for that kind of scam? I'll have you know I invested $20. <laughs> I have a little card and everything. Oh my god, I should wear it. I should wear it. I should wear it. 
while I stream EVE Online. Oh, God. They gave me a little card. It's all I wanted. It's all I wanted. And back then, I believed those sweet, sweet lies. I was all in, man. I should wear it. Oh, my God. This will hurt my brain. You can actually go up and down. Yeah, I mean, oh, Jesus. It's a, it's a big place, space, you know? Space is a, it's a big place. It's not for the faint of heart out here, guys. Eve does make a virtual up and down, but really, IRL, there is no up and down. We as humans just point to a place and call it up. Yeah, you see, that's what plain Eve does to you. Makes you smart. None of that here. Let me live in my fantasy world, please. <laughs> oh my god, what a beautiful face. Enlarge. Yeah. Most valuable kills last seven days. Hell yes, dude. Look at that. Oh my god. I have such an illustrious career as a combat pilot. And it's all being laid out for you guys right here. Jesus. What a life I've led. I'm 40% dangerous, man. Jesus, don't, don't, listen, guys, 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 don't underestimate Lerm the Slurm, huh? Yeah. I'm 40% dangerous. I am 60% snuggly, but like, the 40% dangerous part, that's the important part right there. Like, do you guys remember that minigame from Mass Effect? Where you had to scan all the planets? Wow. And you get to actually build command centers on you. Dude, what the heck? I cannot wait to try that out one day. Oh shit! I've got it all! It's blue! Job runs one. I just want to make one. 87,000. Wow, it even lists everything. An itemized bill. Two hours. Fantastic. Outcome? This beautiful ship. <sighs> there it is! Hell yes, dude! Oh my god, I feel so accomplished! Generally, you don't want to RP mining because you're just announcing to everyone that you're mining. <laughs> I know! I know, but I love it! How can I resist, man? How can I resist? I have to. Huh. How can I resist?